What's up, y'all? I'm using my new camera. If you guys didn't watch my last video or the video before that, pretty sure I told you guys I was getting a new camera. I'm so excited. It has all these like cool new features. You guys, I feel like a real fucking YouTuber right now. Look. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so excited about it. So excited. So many cool features. Look, look. I, I, I can see myself on my phone and I can focus from my phone and do all kinds of things from my phone. I can adjust the exposure. I can do lots of different things like that from my phone. I have a new camera with a flip out screen. I'm an official fucking YouTuber now. I have a camera with a flip out screen and autofocus. We're fucking with it today. I'm so fucking excited. Oh my God. I literally like have been sitting here for the past two hours just fucking with this camera because I'm like, oh my God, it has this feature. That's so fucking cool. It has wireless. It has Bluetooth. My old camera had wireless. Ooh, the sun going down. My old camera had wireless, but for some reason I could never get it to hook up to my phone because you can hook up like remotely to your phone but honestly like the old canon eos utility like app that you put on your phone kind of suck balls a little bit kind of suck balls a little bit didn't really work ever for me i felt like um but this one does because this camera has bluetooth my old camera didn't have bluetooth and this one does i'm so fucking excited it's gonna be so fucking hard not to look at the fucking screen over there. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my hardest not to fucking tan a mojo and look at that little thing. We may have to flip it back if it gets too crazy up in here. So today, God, I'm so excited. You guys have no fucking clue how nice it is to not have to do this. Even before I like just hit record, I was like, reach my arm up because I'm so used to doing that, you know what I'm saying? I know you can possibly, because I recorded a little like snippets, like little testies, testies, one, two, threes, and I know that you may possibly be able to hear the lens. If that is the case, then I think what I'm gonna do is take my microphone off of it and like put it somewhere else. My microphone is attached to the top of my camera right now so where it's always attached it's in the little hot shoe um so if you can hear my lens then when i go to edit this back or you'll probably hear it in the next couple of videos because i'm filming a couple videos today if you can hear my lens then I'll take my mic off and see if that works. Hopefully that works. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm so excited to have this camera. I'm not giving it up, girl. I'm not giving it up. Y'all might just have to push through it or maybe I could do some shit in Final Cut to fucks with it or something. Anyways, God, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just wanna pop. Anyways, today's video, uh, I don't think I've ever done one of these before. I always see all these uh, beauty gurus doing the full face of first impressions and it, so many people seem to like them so i'm gonna do something similar to that i'm gonna do full face and new products i don't have new new products to first impression on well not total full face because my brows i wish i would have done my brows on camera now that i think about it because i do have fucking new products to use but my brows are just they're they're in a class all by themselves i i still want to fuck with them and i'm just I can't touch them. I can't. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Anyways, so I'm gonna use a full face of all new products today, aside from, you know, the brows. And if you guys like this, then fucking let a bitch know and we'll keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of hauls coming up because I wanna buy some stuff and there's lots of new stuff coming out. I'm trying my best to buy. Oh no, my screen is like going into rest mode on my phone. Anyways, I'm trying my best to buy more drugstore shit because I wanna start doing like full face of drugstore shit uh, here in the new future or in the new future. Nope, not the new one, just this one near future here in the near future so damn i've been talking a lot it's like five minutes in this unlike my get ready with me's hopefully is not going to be as long it's going to be a little bit more edited down my uh get ready with me's are just very slightly edited because you get ready with me girl we just said we just chilling but in this one i'm actually going to be like trying the shit and you know do a little bit editing stuff Okay, so we better fucking get started because goddamn. I'm trying to decide on whether or not I want to use my Bobbi Brown foundation or 
the Physician's Formula one. I think in my last video I used my Bobbi Brown one, so I'm gonna use this one. This uh, foundation, I haven't used that much because I like my Bobbi Brown one so much that I've been using that one. I don't know why I'm shaking it. Why am I shaking it up? So anyways, so this is the Physician, I get, I, Jesus, can I YouTube? This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation SPF 20 Brightening Complex uh, for all skin types. And I am in the color LW2. The color range on this is dick. There's like six fucking colors. This one is good for me. It's a, a, a little bit light, but I can fucks with it. It's basically my skin tone, but I don't like to use my skin tone because I'm a white ass bitch and I can never find a concealer light enough to highlight when I do use my skin tone. So I'm just gonna slap this on and use my Real Technique sponge to blend that shit in. I have used this foundation. I just, I really can't remember like how well it performs because I just, I can't, I can't get away from the Bobbi Brown one. This foundation has like a light, I wouldn't even call it medium. It's like, well, light to like a low medium coverage. So if you're somebody that likes full coverage, you probably won't like this foundation because there ain't that much coverage at all. My fucking cheeks are getting all red because I've been up here like fucking around and I literally just had to run up and down the stairs 72 fucking times because I went downstairs. I'm like, oh shit, I left my beauty blenders downstairs because shocker, shocker, I actually washed the motherfuckers. So I ran downstairs to get them and as soon as I hit the bottom of the stairs, I was like, I have to pee. So I went pee and then I came back up and then I was like, oh, I forgot my beauty blenders. And then I ran, ran downstairs again and then I seen a memory card sitting there and I was like, oh, I better bring this upstairs. And then I came back up and sat down and I was like, oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? I fucking forgot my beauty blenders again. Girl, get it together. Yeah, so if you guys can see on camera, like it's really not even covering any of my redness, which luckily it's up in my cheeks, so I'll just use concealer for that. Okay, so for concealer, I have three of them. I should be using this because I need to like test this out more to see if I wanna like recommend it to you guys. Um, and then I've got this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, which is supposedly supposed to be a shape tape. Um, what's it called? What's that called? Dupe, a shape tape dupe. I don't know about that. Um, I haven't tried it enough. I've only tried it once. And then I got this Catrice one. I think I'm gonna do this Makeup uh, Revolution one. Did I say Makeup Forever? Did I say that or did I say Makeup Revolution? I don't remember. But anyways, Makeup Revolution, Conceal and Define, I'm in the color C1. The only reason I don't like this is because it's not light enough. See, it's like my skin tone. Maybe I won't use this. Let's blend it out and see. Okay, so it gets lighter when you blend it out, so I will use this one. So I'm just gonna put this in all the highlighted spots and then blend it out. It has literally the exact same packaging as the um, Shape Tape, but Shape Tape obviously has more product. That has 0.33 um, ounces, and this has 0.14. So it's about half the amount that Shape Tape has, and I think it's like $12.99, um, or $8.99, is it? Let me look at my receipt here. I think it's $7. Is it $7? Is that it? Yeah, Makeup Revolution Conceal C1, 0.11 fluid ounces. Lies, it's 0.14. Um, yeah, this is only $7, so you could totally buy two of them and still not, you know, be up at the price of the Shape Tape. I don't think it has as much coverage as the Shape Tape does, and I don't think it's as dry as the Shape Tape. I kind of fucks with it. Like, I kind of like it. We have sold so fucking many of these concealers at the store. I literally had to wait for like two or three weeks just for this shit to fucking uh, come back in stock in the C1 color. See, you can still see kind of some of my redness through there, which I don't mind. Y'all know I'm not like that full coverage ass bitch anymore. This, uh, God, I can't fuck with my brows right now. They're driving me nuts. This concealer, I don't have a problem with it creasing or anything. I don't feel like I use enough concealer for it to crease because y'all know I don't like pound it down there like all the YouTubers do, but I have had concealers like crease on me even when I use just the lightest bit. This one doesn't seem to though, so I really do like it. The next thing I have that's new is, I have the box right here. It's this 
BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray um, brush set. This set is $24 and it comes with all these brushes. I never fucking buy, buy brushes. And the reason is because I have so many fucking brushes, girl. I have all these fucking brushes. I have all these cups of brushes. All these brushes I never knew, never use, because y'all know I use like basically beauty blenders. The only thing I use on brushes on is like my bronzer and then um, uh, my eyes, and that's about it. And I still wanted this, even though there were more face brushes than eye brushes, because they're so fucking soft. Like I usually don't buy brushes. I don't fucks with like the sets of brushes that we get into the store or anything like that. If y'all don't know, I work at Ulta. I never like fucks with that stuff. Um, and when these came in, I was like, oh my God. Cause we had like a little display of it. The it's my Ray Ray thing. I know who she is. I just don't watch her or follow her. Um, so I, I know, I knew who the person was, but I had just happened to walk by it and like feel the brushes. They are so fucking soft. Like I was a little bit, a little bit uh, taken back a little bit, girl. I was like, oh my God, these are so fucking soft. And there's literally like three eye brushes. I'm missing one. I'm missing a, um, did I put it in here somewhere? There's a, um, oh, what's it called? What's that called? Pencil brush. There's a pencil brush that, kind of, oh, here it is. These are like literally the only eye brushes and the only ones I would really use is this and this, but they were so soft I had to try them. So I was like, okay, I'll fuck with that. Let me buy them. Okay, so this Physicians Formula um, foundation is like, my laugh lines never ever crease. And ooh, look, I can do this now. I can get real close. <laughs> it's like creasing in my laugh lines. Really fucking bad too. Ew. I never have that problem. What the fuck, yo? This foundation is really weird because it's like glowy looking, but it's also kind of matte. I don't even remember having that problem the last time I put this foundation on because I have used it a couple of times, but the fuck, yo? Another thing I got is this Models Own Sculpt and Glow Highlight Powder. I think I want to do a full face of, because I asked you guys in a tutorial or in a get ready with me, if you guys wanted a full face of like a brand, like full face of fucking blah, 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 blah. But I wasn't gonna fuck with high end shit cause I'm not gonna spend $300 on a bunch of shit that like I may potentially not be using in the future, you know? I ain't like one of these rich ass YouTubers around here, girl. I'm not a rich ass beauty guru that just, just throw my money away on makeup and get PR and stuff. That's not me. I gotta spend my actual money that I work for on my makeup. So, um, but I was going through Models Own uh, we just got this in at work and I'm like, this fucking brand though, like they have some really nice stuff. One being this highlighter, this Sculpt and Glow highlight powder in the color Golden Sand. Why in the fuck they call it Golden Sand? I have no clue because as you can see, cause I could put things up close right now. Uh, as you can see, it's not gold. It's fucking pink, girl. I don't know why they call it golden sand. I wish it was a motherfucking golden sand because I like a warm tone highlighter better than I like a pink one. But this fucking highlighter, when I took this out of the package to swash at work, I was like, oh fuck, this has to be mine. Did I tell you guys I took the Amrezy one back? I took it back. I couldn't fuck with it. It was just too dark for me and it just looked like there was like gold on my face. I just couldn't. So I'm gonna use this uh, Ray Ray number no. five brush to highlight with, look. <gasps> Do you die? Do you die? It's so fucking good. Why are people not talking about this? I don't understand why people are not talking about these fucking highlighters that are bomb. Just like that little um, Makeup Revolution highlighter, that little Sophie highlighter. Why is nobody talking about that? It's so good. And look, when you put your brush in it, like it doesn't get dust everywhere. Like this highlighter, I would say is literally up there with that Amrezy highlighter. I mean, look how metallic and pretty that is. Could you die, girl? Could you die? Cause I could. I could die, I could be buried, I could come up from the dead and come back and die again cause it's so good. The only thing I don't like about it is that I wish it was just, just a, a, a little dick hair lighter. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit lighter. 
um because y'all know i'm a pasty ass bitch it doesn't look that bad um right here but when i put it on yesterday it almost looked like a blush maybe it's this brush because yesterday i used this real dense brush on it maybe it's because this brush is a little bit fluffier so it's like putting down more of the sheen than the color because i have fucks with this right now i'm about to get crazy with this highlight dough another thing that i got from models oh well let's not do that yet Oh, I lied. I don't have a new bronzer. I was gonna buy this bronzer from Model Zone, and then I ended up buying that highlighter. See what happened was, I was looking at these concealers, these Makeup Revolution concealers, and I had happened to set down my stuff because I had like all this stuff in my hands. I fucking set it down and I didn't pick it back up. I was gonna get this Model Zone bronzer, and then when I got home, I realized, oh shit, I must not have picked the bronzer up when I picked the rest of my stuff up. So I don't have a new bronzer. So my, my title's a little bit of a lie, a little bit. I mean, what YouTuber isn't fibbing a little in their title anyways, am I right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use Physicians Formula BB Bronzer. This is such a good bronzer if you are a pasty ass bitch like myself. What am I doing? I should use these, it's Ray Ray brushes. Uh, duh. Which one should I use? That one's like oddly shaped. I'll use this big one. Mm-hmm. I just like to use, um, this is so soft. I just like to use, uh, what are they called? Duo fiber brushes a lot of times when I do my bronzer, just because I didn't even set my fucking face, girl. And it's like dry AF. It could just be because my skin's so fucking dry, but I don't know. I thought this was supposed to be like healthy glow and shit. Brightening complex. It's almost like there's like a sheen to the foundation, but the foundation's matte. Cause don't it look matte dough, don't it? Dude, this original beauty blender feels literally so hard now compared to like my Real Technique sponge. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Cause y'all remember when the beauty blender came out, it was like the softest of the soft of the soft. You know what I'm saying? But now it like feels so hard compared to that one. Cause that one's so fucking soft. God damn, my skin looks dry. I'm gonna spray some cover effect spray on it and try to moisten the spice up a little bit. Fuck. Damn, it looked like a powdery pancake. A powdery pancake. Okay, that helped a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I'm gonna use the Swath Clam again, just because it's a newer palette. But the only problem is, I will say this too about like the Anastasia palettes, because I went through my other palettes and I was like, that's a total fucking like running theme within her palettes is she's got all these warm tones in here, but then you kind of get the option of like a cool tone because you got this dusty rose, you got this rose pink, the sultry. But the problem is, is there's no transition color for those cool tones. So like, I feel like I am O that they could have omitted one of these browns in this little four bang right here for a lighter version of dusty rose for like a transition of dusty rose. Cause I feel like on well, my skin tone, Dusty Rose is just a little bit too dark to be using as a transition color. So that's what's up. So I'm going to go into the Sway Peche, the Sway Peche palette and go into Georgia and use that as a transition because that Dusty Rose would be too dark for me to transition on, girl. Ooh, this brush is so soft. This is the Ray Ray number six. I think I'm going to do like a little mobby moment here on the airbears, here on my airbears. I've had so much fucking trouble doing my makeup with my fucking Botox. I know I was bitch about it in my last video, but it's like fucking me up, girl. Cause I'm like, what do I do? How do I do my makeup? Do I like do it like I have a mono lid now? Cause I basically do. I was watching Brittany Lee Saunders this morning and it was just like the last video that she posted. And I, what I noticed when I was watching her video is that her eyes are like the same shape as mine now that I have Botox. So I'm like, I need to go watch it like a Brittany Lee Saunders makeup tutorial, see what she does with her makeup so I can fucks with mine. Cause I'm still doing it like I used to. And I don't know, I don't know if I'm doing it right or if it looks good, but I'm just gonna keep on doing what I'm doing, I guess. See, the problem is, is I never put like my crease colors in this far. I see a lot of people do that. I never take my crease color in this far. And the reason is because I like to brighten that inner corner up, but because I have no lid space now, 
I like need because it's how do I want to say it? It's almost like coming out more now with the Botox than it was. So I feel like I need to darken that now. I always tried to lighten it before, uh, but now I feel like I need to darken it. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my face, girls. Dropping us. So <laughs> it's getting a little bit better. I can tell it's like alleviating a little bit more now. So I guess I'm gonna bring that color up in here. Um, as far as this palette goes, I really fucking like this palette. I know people are saying like, it's just a warm neutrals and blah, 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 but I fucking like warm neutrals. That's what I fucks with, you know what I mean? Should she probably like step out of the box a little bit and maybe do something different? Yeah, but I'm here for the rad because warm neutrals are my life. That's like literally all I use. I'm just using Dusty Rose this whole time, BT Dabs. I haven't even been fucking telling you guys that. Dusty Rose. I'm just trying to build it up and get it to darken a little bit. It's a lot lighter than what I thought it was. I thought it was a lot darker than this. When I swatched it, it looked a lot, it looked a lot darker. I'm still taking Dusty Rose just on this uh, flat shader brush. Ooh, my eyeball hurts down there. I don't know what I did to my eye down here, but it hurts. Damn. This is not a get ready with me. I'm gonna put a little bit more Dusty Rose up in here and see if that works at all. See if, see if that helps, helps me at all with my eye shape being all crazy wacky. And then I'm just gonna blend this. I'm not used to doing like physical tutorials, you guys. That's really throwing me off a little bit. Really throwing me off. Okay, so, um, I think I'm gonna use this Ray Ray because this seems like almost like a concealer type dilly this number nine brush and go into rose pink and put that on my eyeball. Now I'm gonna put Sultry on the outer and then, ooh shit, that one is a little chunky. Sultry on the outer edge here and then I'm gonna put rose pink in the little, what's it called, inner corner. I have like this little purple like rose gold like moment. Oh my god, you actually didn't do a warm tone eye for once. Thanks guys, I know, I'm really trying. Oh girl, that rose pink is like really fall at all day. Or not rose pink, what's it called? Sultry, that sultry color is very fall at all day and very chunky, very, very much so. So I'm just gonna wipe that brush off and now I'm gonna go into rose pink. Is this one as bad as that one? Oh yeah, it is. Okay, guys. Okay, I see what everyone's talking about now. I haven't really been fucking with the shimmery shades in this palette. They are a little bit chunky. I will agree with you guys on that. I wish I didn't have nails on so I could use my fingers. Cause that would be nice. I, maybe it's this brush. Let me get a different brush. Cause that brush is like teeny tiny. Let me use this e.l.f. shader brush and see if that helps. Oh yeah, that picks it up way better. Yeah, so much better, so much. Yeah, that's much better. And then I'm gonna lick it and stick it. You got to lick it before you stick it. What fucking movie was that from? If anybody can tell me what movie that was from, I'll give you $5. I'm just kidding, I won't do that, but I'll give you props if you can tell me what movie that was from. It was like two guys, and they were talking to their friend and they were like, you got to lick it before you stick it. Oh my God, that's gonna drive me nuts. I need to look it up. I need to Google it. Now the wheel eyeshadow everywhere. Okay, you guys, you guys got me. It is really fully outy. I do see what people are talking about now. I take back everything I said. Not really. I still really like the palette, but it is real folly alley. Inner corner highlight, that does not have anything light enough to do on my inner. Oh no! I wanted to use this, I totally forgot. I got this uh, model's own liquid metal. What if we just put it over top of it, you think? These are basically, from the swatch that I did, I feel like these are like what the Cover Effect Shimmer Veil was trying to accomplish. Or the Stila, this is the model's own liquid metal eyeshadow in the color, what in the color? Silver, Lim I can't read that. Silver, Mia? Meow? Silver Meow? No. Maybe that's just, maybe it's just silver and that's like a different language. I can't really tell. 
Anyways, the Stila, I don't know if you guys have tried these yet, but the Stila Shimmer and Glow things are total dick. They suck so fucking bad. They like, there's no pigmentation to them. They don't dry down. It takes them forever to fucking dry down. This I put on my eye the other day and it was pretty decent. So let's just try to put it over. Maybe we'll try to mix the two together. Cause I do want to use it. It's new. It's newer than this Anastasia palette. Where's that brush? Where's that brush? Let's mix them together. Uh, that kind of half-ass worked. Half-ass did it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's a little bit. I can fucks with that. I can fucks with that. So then I'm just gonna take it and put it on the inner corner. This takes a minute to dry too, but not as bad as the Cover FX Shimmer Veils. I just felt like the Shimmer Veils never dried, like they never dried down. Is it just me? Do you guys feel like that? I know a couple of you guys said when I was bitching about it in the comments that you guys kind of felt the same, that it didn't like dry down and it was just really hard to work with. Okay. That looks like sloppy or something. Let me take this pencil brush and kind of pat it out a little bit, pat it out, pat it out a little bit, pat it out. Okay, so this is like not as, maybe it's cause I've got that other color on there. Cause I swore I put this one the other day and I was like, oh my God, I put it on my lids. But I did wash it right off cause I was just fucking with it before I was getting ready to get in the shower. It was like right after I bought all this stuff. Okay, that's not too bad. I just bucked that up. Damn it. Look at my shirt. I got so much fucking shit all over my shirt. Just a dust flying everywhere, girl. NYX Wonder Pencil in light and put that in my wool on. So before I put my lashes on, I'm gonna put the lipstick on. I got also another It's My Ray Ray, or It's Me Ray Ray. What is it? It's My Ray Ray. Uh, the lip gloss in her little collection called Rosie. This is gonna go perfectly with what I have on. I'm so excited. This I have not tried yet. Rosie lip gloss, here we go. Let's fuck with it. I like the color. I don't, it almost feels like oily. I don't know if I like the consistency of this. I'm used to like my NYX uh, butter glosses and like, mmm, mmm, ew. Ew, it feels like gritty. Mmm, that's weird. Mmm, I don't know if I like this. It doesn't have a smell to it. Mmm, I like the way it looks. I just don't know if I like the consistency of it. It's so odd. Weird. Anyways, I am going to, I bought some more Sylvia Brown lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on my Jasmine Brown Eyelore lashes and mascara and then that's it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so let me go on and pop my lashes on a BRB. Lashes, they are applied. I just love these lashes uh, so, so much. They're so good, dude. Can I just say, my fucking face feels so dry right now. Is it just because my skin is dry or what the dilly? Like this foundation has my face so tight right now. Like, oh my God, down in here, like not my forehead so much, but like down here feels so fucking dry. Have, do you guys have that with this foundation? Have you guys tried it who have dry skin? I got it because I thought it was supposed to be for dry skin. Maybe it's just my skin, but and it's like creasing all up in my laugh lines and shit, which I do not have a problem with, with any other fucking foundation other than this one. Um, maybe like some matte foundations or something, but damn girl. God damn, my skin feels so fucking dry. I'm gonna take my dewy. Oh God, that felt good. <laughs> my skin feels so dry from this foundation. Oh my God. What the hell? I don't remember this happening before. That was a little bit better, but like, oh my God, it's just so tight feeling. Anyways, that's it. That's what's up. That's, I'm done. That's all my new products. 
Uh, if you guys like these videos, leave it in the comments. If you want me to do full face of first impressions, because I do intend on buying a lot of stuff, uh, let me know in the comments. Because I'm trying to decide, because I think I'm going to start doing the full face of like this brand. Um, and if I do that, should I do like a full face of first impressions and then do a full face of that brand? Or should I just clump them together in one video? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, I'm gonna go, that's it. So, thanks so much for not making this as long as the fucking get ready with me, right? Uh, I'm so excited about my new camera. Okay, I'm gonna go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I need to film. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. Follow me on all my social media right here. It's right here. Don't forget to hit the bell to get notified. So when I upload, y'all know what's up. Y'all know when I upload. You know what's really weird? I need to not go into this right now. I think, nope, nope. I'm not going to go into it now. I was just going to bitch about YouTube. But I'm going to make it a whole video of its own. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the social media, you're following me. All that. Do the bell and all that. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. My Botox is so bad. Bet you can't move like this. Feel a little diamond on both my wrists. Ooh. Bet you can't move like this. Feel a little diamond on both my wrists. That's the only part of the song that I know. Oh, my pain. I don't remember my pain. I was watching Brandy. Brandy. <laughs> Not Brandy, bitch. What? There is a card in the camera, though. The fuck? Just lost my connection on my phone. That's okay though. That's okay. We still rolling. Let's see what I got in here. Let's see what I got in here, motherfucker. This foundation. <laughs> what am I, Peter Brady? My voice is cracking. I got a lot, a lot, a lot. I got a lot. I got a lot. I got a lot. Because my mouth. Oh, oh, no. What? What am I talking about? And I'm gonna film.